everyone it's Dora welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome my name is Dora K Fulton and this channel is all things motivation and some creativity in the mix thank you so much for being here I just want to do another motivational chit chat and I hope you are enjoying these chit chats if you are please give this video a thumbs up please subscribe to this channel comment below and let me know what you think about these videos so notice I'm wearing a little different hairstyle yes and believe it or not fun fact this wig is called Dara isn't that funny <laughs> so Dara meets Dara nice to meet you <laughs> so for today's motivational chit chat the importance of being careful and what you share with others now it's a little bit similar to my last video when I did coffee with Dara talking about not to expect anything from anyone it's kind of tying into that and the reason why I wanted to share this topic is because this is a life lesson I had to learn the hard way and I don't want you to make the same mistakes I've made so I want to share this with you so let's get started be careful what you share with people now I am one who loves to share a lot with a lot of people that's just my personality anyone who knows me off camera knows teacher Dara, Dara K. Fulton loves to share things but one of the things that I had to be very 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 careful of is not to share everything with everyone and why is that because not everyone is going to wish you well and I know this sounds so messed up because you're thinking well I'm sharing with my family member I'm sharing this with my best friend so what's the problem the problem is sorry friends she's my my sweater's doing the most the problem is is that not everyone has good intentions not everyone wants to see you succeed and it's sad that we are living in a time where that seems to be very very common but it's just the way it is let me give you an example when you're down and out you don't have money you're feeling depressed you feel like crap nobody wants to be around you right I know for myself it's happened to me more times than I like and then when you start to feel better you know and you start making changes in your life people start to take notice and come around and then you start to feel so good because maybe you found a passion or there's something you're doing or maybe you finally stepped out your comfort zone and you're ready to take on the world now you go to these people who are kind of like hey what's going on with her what's going on with him and you say hey guys look I'm feeling better now I feel empowered I'm ready to do blah 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 or I am doing blah 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 and here's where it gets tricky you're gonna have some people in the crowd that's gonna go oh that's nice you're gonna have some people who are gonna be like oh my god I'm so happy for you awesome and then you're gonna have some people who may not show no emotion and or they may not have a certain reaction and again don't expect reaction just go with the flow now here's where it gets tricky friends the person with no reaction might be your biggest supporter maybe at that moment they can't give you the response that you want but they will be the ones who will pat you on the back and say congrats or will encourage you and motivate you and sometimes the one that's like oh Oh my god I'm so happy for you oh yay be careful because sometimes those are the people who are just ready to eh, 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 stab you in the back or the ones who are like oh that's wonderful he, he, he. they're the ones who may go behind your back and be like she's not all that anyway look at her she so this or she so that be careful then you have the other types this is these are the snakes okay now the snakes are the gossipers sure and they're the ones who will stab you in the back but they're they're a little they're a little different these are the people who will come across that they're happy for you maybe not so excited but they'll come across normal right and then they're going to do this so tell me more about this business that you have or tell me about what you've been doing lately or whatever now let's assume you're working on something right and you're finally ready to share with the world but you're going to your circle first right your friends family whoever now there's that one friend and we all had that friend right 
who wants information. And you don't mind sharing because you're not thinking this way. You're just like, hey, you know what? I'm happy and why not? And that will be, sorry, I have to be a little, little hood for a moment. It will be that heifer, okay? If you know what heifer means, you know what I'm talking about. It will be that heifer who will get all that information, collect it, and next minute you know they start working. Okay? And as they are working, they are trying to build their empire off of your dream, your ideas, okay? I've almost had someone do that to me and when I realized this individual, let me just say we are no longer friends, I'm happy we're no longer friends, but one time I may almost made the biggest mistake before I even started, not so much before I started the journey, but you know, while I was still into developing my business, I had mentioned this to this individual, some ideas I had about particularly doing video lessons on YouTube. And she was basically like, okay, cool. And you know, she seemed like she was interested. And I'm like, why, why not? We're friends, you know, why not? But then something she said, she kind of told on herself and she was like, well, if I want to take your ideas or if I want to use what you've done, I'm just going to do that. And I'm sitting there like, ah! because I couldn't believe she's actually saying this because most, most backstabbers ain't going to tell you this tea okay but she spoke she spilled her tea and I'm like you know you can't do that right like if I do something um, you can be inspired okay you can do your own thing but you can't take what I'm doing and claim that's yours and she was like yes I can if I want to do it I'll just do it if you are lucky enough <laughs> okay this is like I can smile about it now but at the time I was mortified if you're lucky enough to have that one friend tell you their truth Please believe it. Don't ha 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 it off. Don't act like it's no big deal. Believe that, okay? And take that and say, thank you very much. Because that person is letting you know in advance, if you do something, they will steal from you. Okay. And if that is the case, you don't have to like it, but be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, because now you know where that person is coming from. So. I'm just saying that to say that there will always be those snakes, but all snakes are not made alike, okay? You're going to have people who's going to be phony, they're going to come across that they're happy for you when they're not, and then you're going to have people that's going to speak their truth. You're going to have some people who's going to be like, look, I think what you're doing is stupid and you're wasting your time. Also thank those people because they're making it easy for you. So in conclusion, don't share everything with everyone. Be selective. I know when it came to my business, I didn't tell nobody except for my family. Honestly, they were the only ones who knew about the dream. And that was just my way of protecting my brand. I did not want to go public too quickly because I didn't want nobody to feel the need to say, oh, and either, either steal my stuff or become jealous and throw off that negative energy. And that's another thing to keep in mind. Be careful. You know, some people might say, oh, there's no such thing as bad energy. Yes, there is. You have people that will wish bad on you and you better recognize that because I'm telling you, you don't want negative energy around you. And sometimes people are just that hateful and jealous and they'll be like, yeah, I hope, I hope she fails. I hope she fails right now. You know, and if you're not careful and you're around that and don't even realize it, you know, unfortunately it will affect what you do so if you're around people who's constantly putting you down constantly knocking what you're doing leave them alone seriously and honestly if they're your friends they shouldn't be doing that anyway constructive criticism is welcome of course when it gets to the point where someone's calling you stupid or they're calling you dumb or they're saying oh what you're doing is crazy and what's the point who the hell needs that say you know what you can keep your negative on that side and leave me alone because I'm gonna do my thing you ain't got to like it but I'm gonna do my thing so if you don't mind stepping aside, let me do my thing and then we'll, we'll talk later. You know, and you have to have that attitude, even if you don't feel 100% confident. I didn't either. And there's a lot of things I've shared with a lot of people. Some of these folks might be watching this video and might be like, oh my God, is she talking about me? Maybe I am. Because I I can say right now, I am so tired of people like this. <laughs> like seriously, I'd rather you just keep it real with me than to be fake. I don't like fake people. I don't like fakeness. Never have, never will. So my advice to you friends is be careful of what you share with people. Sometimes being silent is truly your best friend. Sometimes just doing your own thing is your best friend. Ignore 
the naysayers. If you do share and anyone's coming off anything but genuinely happy for you, leave them alone. I'm not saying that these people are terrible people. I'm just saying that sometimes people are miserable because they have their own reasons and sometimes it is really what it is. There's nothing you can do about it. That's fine. I'm not saying hate anybody, but again, if someone is going out their way to disrespect you and what you do, evaluate that you know where is all that really coming from is that towards you or is that something that's coming from within themselves thank you so much for watching this video hear the beep beeps so I guess that's my cue to say in this video thank you so much for watching today I really appreciate it please continue to subscribe like comment I, I always read your comments and I do appreciate them very very much and please share this video if you feel anyone could benefit from this message it would mean so much to me and love you all so much keep your head up keep smiling keep striving know that we are all going to be okay always try your best and I'll see you in the next video I have to say friends I'm really feeling cute in this wig so you know yes darling you know maybe I should go dancing what do you think you know and I will say that you know hubby definitely approves of oh, not that I'm looking for his approval now I love my, my I love my bed don't get me wrong but ladies even if hubby approves or don't approve if you're feeling cute feel cute and be the sexy woman that you are okay that was just a little added snippets to this video but anyway i'm gonna go now love you so much i'll see you in the next video have a great day